Guys, you are doing great. Our interface is almost finished. In this lesson, we'll be seeing a powerful feature in Sketch called Symbols, which helps us avoid repeated objects in the interface. Let's say that after finishing the course, you continue working with your website and adding pages, objects, and other elements. Surely, there will be many repeated objects which appear in different adwords of our interface and it would be great to sync them, right? For this reason, Sketch offers this tool called Symbols, which allows us to reuse elements easily across the document's adwords and pages. For example, let's go to the blue buttons. The three buttons that appear in, the, in this interface share the same text and layer styles. So select both text and the background of the button and go to the toolkit, sorry, toolbar, where we'll find create symbol. Name the symbol, leave button here, hit OK, and then you'll see that all the properties related to the color, style, border, and so on, do not appear anymore in the spectral panel. Instead, we just see this symbol, we just created an, op and an option called Overwrite. Wait, where have they gone? Don't panic. Here in the left panel, there is a tab called Symbol. Click on it and there you'll find the button with all its properties, which can be edited now. Let's say I want to change the color, then exit the Symbols feature and have a look at the interface. What happened? That the changes only applied to the first button. Why? Because we only created a symbol for this button, not the rest. So let's create symbols for the others as well. Go to the portfolio section and there we'll find this button. Select it and go to insert, symbols, documents, and then select the button. Position it where our button is, and we've created another symbol. The good thing about symbols is that we can overwrite the text in the overwrite section within the inspector panel. Let's change it to, for example, uh, don't know, let's write see some words. Done. We are able to modify the text without altering the symbol's properties. Right? Can you say it? No changes. Do the same for the third button. Create a new symbol. Overwrite the text in the overwrites panel. And now we have three instances of the, a same symbol. OK. Go now to the Symbol tab in the left menu and select its original color. What happens if we now go to the artboard? Voila! The three buttons have been changed automatically, saving a lot of time. However, Overwrite's feature doesn't work only with text. Let's see other applications of this feature. Create a symbol for the main menu. As the menu's layout is similar to the footer one, we are going to create a symbol with the logo, the menu, and the social networks. To select all the elements, select the group and create a symbol. Go now to the bottom and create a new instance of that symbol. Have a look at the Overwrites tab. Apart from modifying the text of each element, we can also substitute the logo's image because it was created with a pattern fill. So, click on Choose Image to change it. We can follow the same steps for the portfolio's objects. Create a group with these three objects, image, title and description, and then a symbol. After that, we'll create four instances, one for each object. Don't forget to, to introduce their corresponding values. This way, if I want to change the color to black, I can do it directly without changing each of them individually. Let's create a last symbol for the input text in the contact form. Select the group 
and then click on Create Symbol. Duplicate it and use the copy for the email field substituting the content. Regarding the message fields, we'll leave it like that for the moment since we are going to use a different symbol for this in the next video. Well, before finishing, let me tell you a couple of things about symbols. It's possible to organize the symbols as well. Go to the inspector, click on the symbol, and then within the pop-up up menu, we'll find an option to organize them, as we did previously with the text and layer styles. Once here, we can, as I said, organize them and even group them in folders using the pattern tip I gave you before. And let's say that someday, for some reason, we want to change the color of a single object within a symbol. Is it possible? Yes. In the Symbols pop-up menu on the right, there is an option called Detach from Symbol. This way, this element will be detached from the symbol and will be able to modify it without altering other elements.